What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play PS4 on your Windows PC or your Mac anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. So to do so you're going to have to download PS4 Remote Play from this website. The link will be in the description so go ahead and click that. Now I know I've made this video before but my other one wasn't really that good so I decided to remake it and hopefully this one will be better. I also have a frequently asked questions segment at the end of this video so if you do have any questions after this. Make sure to stay tuned till the end and hopefully your questions will be answered. So let's go ahead and choose PC or Mac and in this case I'm going to be using a PC but the instruction shouldn't be that different from a Mac. So my virus scanner is just going to scan it and it is successful. So let's click on the program and then click yes on that little box that comes up and then select your language, click next agree to the terms, click next again then you can choose where you want your program to be downloaded in my case I'm just going to download it in the default folder then click next and then click install now it'll take a minute to install but I'm just going to skip ahead then once that's done you can just click finish now go ahead and search up on your computer remote play and start it up it'll check for an update so first click on settings so we can set everything up and then click sign in I'm just gonna sign out just so I can start from scratch and then enter your, your email and your password for your PSN account alright now we're all signed in so next you can select the video quality I recommend staying at 540p but if you have a really high internet connection you can go all the way up to 1080p frame rate I'm just gonna keep at standard but you can put it on high and then that's all you need to change so just click OK then you can connect to your PS4 controller to your computer with any micro USB cable and I've already done this so after you've done that just click options on your controller now it'll search for your PS4 by the internet but I suggest registering it manually so click on that now we're gonna hop on the PS4 and I'm gonna show you guys how to find the number that you need. Now keep in mind when you are registering this for the first time you do have to be connected to the same internet as your PS4. Alright so to find the number on the PS4 go up to settings then click on remote play all the way down here and then add device and then your number would normally show up here but to record this footage I'm using remote play and it will work. So once you got that entered just click register and it'll begin to connect to your PS4 and then here it is I'm using the PS4 on the computer so let's go ahead and start up Crash Bandicoot to show you a bit of it and as you can see it's working perfectly fine now I wouldn't recommend playing Crash Bandicoot with remote play but if you really want to play it then go ahead But yeah, so as you can see, it does work perfectly fine. And the next time you connect, you don't have to be connected to the same internet as your PS4. So that's pretty awesome, and that's what allows you to play anywhere. So that's all you need to know to connect to your PS4. So if that worked for you, you can go ahead and click off the video. But if you do still have some questions, stay tuned for the frequently asked questions. So the first question we have here is, does this work on Windows 7? And the sad answer is no. It only works on Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. So the next question is, wait, so if I'm anywhere on Wi-Fi, I can connect to my PS4, which is at home? And yes, as long as you have Wi-Fi and you set it up before you left, it's all good. And your PS4 doesn't have to be on at home. Another question is, did you connect your HDMI cable to your PC? And the obvious answer is no, I did not. I downloaded that software and if you don't believe me download it for yourself just try it it works next question is I sold my TV without doing the setting on the PS4 is there a way to activate remote play and again another sad answer no there's no way to activate it if you sold your TV and then found this out but if you've already registered it might work and the last question is how can my laptop at school 
connect to a remote play with my internet at home where my PlayStation 4 is. So the answer for that is just do what I did in the video. Now one thing with school internet though is it's often really slow so it might not even work and some school internets just block remote play as a whole so it just doesn't work at the specific network but it varies per school. Now with that I hope you successfully connected your PS4 to remote play and if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and if you have any more questions feel free to ask them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.